Hello and welcome back to Master Desmond Cassell in a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, I have been thinking about how to best utilize Desmond. Because we kind of we're a bit aimless right now. We don't really have a goal in sight. So, given that he's relatively alright at intrigue, I think now might be the time to start removing a few unsavory souls from the north. Starting with Viongar. Now, Biongar is obviously dishonorable. He is obviously he's also a drunkard and a lunatic. I think that he is the perfect target for us to get. Let's see what kind of plots we got. We have a kill plot. Let's start it. Let's work on this. This is our objective now. Obviously, we're going to invite everyone we can. Now, who is available? We have Lud Whitehall, who does not want to join because he likes them. Okay. We could probably get Kalon in there, but we're only getting 65. Who's the spy master of this guy's land? Ah, no, I can't kill him because he's in another bit of land. He is the treasurer of the dread of the dread fort, so that's where he is. Ah, oh, okay. That's why, that's why there's not a lot of plot power available. Interesting, interesting. So, how are we gonna do this then? Because we want him to die, and we don't want to directly confront him ideally. Okay. Let's see who else we could... So, Kaelin, we can get him with a bag of gold. That's okay. Anyone else? Ramsey, we could potentially get in if he liked us more. He would actually be interested in it. And that's a lot of plot power for Ramsey. I think we might have to become friends with Ramsey. Yeah. I think that might be the way it goes. Now, why doesn't he like us? He doesn't like us because he is ambitious. Or because, yeah, because he's ambitious, he does not like us. And he's a title claimant on our title. Wait, the Castle of the Dawn Forest. I see. Hmm. Well, let's start uh, seeing what we can do with him. Okay, uh, where is Ram? I completely lost Ramsey there. Uh, he's over here somewhere. Hornward? Where is he? Uh, Dreadfort. He's in the Dreadfort. He's in Ithering. Okay, that's fine. Right, so, Ramsey, what can we do for you? We can send him insults. Obviously not the best thing to do. We could send him children to educate. Potentially, we give him an artifact. We give him our boot. He would quite like it if we gave him our boot. I don't think we need to, though. Let's think about it. We have children who need educated. I think it's possible we could send them to Ramsey. That seems like a good idea. So let's send. Um, how about our daughter that's getting. Or, sorry, our sister that's into intrigue? He seems good. No. Because he doesn't want to. What if I chose one of my sons? Would he want to educate them? We can't choose our sons. Okay. Interesting. If I chose one of my daughters, would he say yes? No. Okay, so he really doesn't like us. I'm starting to feel this first one I've looked at may be impossible. So we're actually going to stop the plot there for just now. Is there any other unsavories? Well, we had White Harbor, but we've or she's already died. The new person in charge of White Harbor is now there. Okay. I guess the next one up here is in King's House, Lady uh, Arya. I think we need to get rid of her. 88% plot power to start with. That's pretty good. So let's see what else we got here. As a 200% plot power one. That's amazing. Okay. And he'd do it if he liked us. Because he doesn't like her. Okay, what can we do to make him like us? Well, we could send... Let's see. Uh, we could send... Plot to buy loyalty. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. We don't have a lot of plot power. Wonder how that works. I'm intrigued. So I still have to get I still have to get people interested in joining. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We're going back to plotting to uh, kill her. That's fine. See, we only have plot to kill, right? Yeah. Or incite revolt. That's fine. All right. Just thought I saw someone else there, but I didn't. Seventy-five from. Eldgrim. He seems very good. 
we can get him in, and he would join for very little. Okay. How far off is he? He doesn't like me, but if he did, he'd do it. Okay. I am going to ask him to educate my sister, Danny. What's his name? Elgrim. That increase his opinion of me? No, it increases Lady Arya's opinion of me. Okay. I could send him a gift, but I can't quite afford it. I'm going to mark him down. We're going to come back to him. Right, I'm going to unpause, and when we have a little bit more money, we might do that. May also need to switch to something a little bit more carousing focused, perhaps, but we'll see. We'll see. It seems Mistress Lacey of Isfield, the spy master of Lady Liza of Widow's Watch, has been sent to Widow's Watch to investigate rumours of a plot. You must be silenced before she finds out about my plot to kill Lady Arya of King's House. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to go and stick our uh, spy master to do spying there. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I do see people who are saying we should marry into the Starks and all that sort of stuff. There's a reason I'm not doing it. I set out the conditions at the start. I set out the constraints of how we were going to do this series and I'm going to stick to them. There's no point in having constraints and things to make the game more difficult if you don't follow them. So that's, that's what we're doing. If the Starks die out, then I have failed. But, you know, I'm not going to change the, the rules so that I don't. Anyway, they've got plenty of chances. We've got, what, six loving members? Eddard. You got, um, Alina here, whoever she is. Um, you got John's son, who's kind of a Stark, maybe. Uh, you've got, uh, Rickard and his son Brandon. And then you got Benjen. So there's one, two, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And, of course, um,. Arya count. So it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's four. Benjen and um, and there was one more over here, wasn't there? Oh, no, that links back in on itself. Ah, ah, don't want to do that. Was there one more? Or if I miscounted. Benjen, Rickard, Brandon, Arya, Elena, Eddard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's who they are. So there's still a line down Rickard's line. It's alright. Not too bad. My lord, news from all provinces, all realm provinces of a, a trial by combat. Lord John Linderley demanded trial by combat from his captain, Lord Paramount Harold Aaron, selecting John Linderley as his champion. Uh, Sir John slayed his opponent, Lord Paramount uh, Harold Aaron, proving Lord John's innocence. Oh! This is now the ex Lord Paramount Harold. Okay. John Linderley, who is a suspected kinslayer. Ooh, all right, so who's in charge now? Now it's Lord Paramount John who's in charge. Interesting, okay. Yeah. Master Desmond, a great male in the Northern tradition is to be held in Hornwood. I urge you to come and take part and to prove your prowess in battle. Yours, Lord Darn Hornwood. Um, well, Obviously, we're not going to turn up. Is the obvious is the answer there? We're going to say it's beneath me, but really, we're just saying we're not turning up to this one. Oh, what was that? At age fifty-five, your acquaintance Donner Mormont died of cancer. Okay, fair enough. Hey, right. King Arnthnor Widowmaker has usurped the chiefdom of Brandon's gift from Bowen. Wait. Then, oh wow. The Night's Watch has been taken by wildlings. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, oh dear. That is not good at all. That is really not good. Okay. Master Desmond, the realm is in a state of war. And as such, as your liege paramount, command I, as such I, as your liege paramount, command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards, Eddard of House Stark, Lord Paramount of the North. Well, of course I'm going to support the three. Um, wait. Eddard Stark is neutral. He's, he's neutral? Why is he neutral? What's the, who's, who's declared the war? 
Oh, he's attacking King Arthur Widowmaker in the Iron Thrones War to restore the Night's Watch. Well, that seems good. Yeah. You know what? I am going to support the throne. Oh, we've gone separate from the Starks. Weird. Wait, can we usurp the High Lordship of Winterfell? Ooh. Ooh. The temptation is just there. This is like one click away and we get a duchy. I kind of want it. There's a little bit of me wanting it, but at the same time, I don't really want to... Uh... Oh my god, he hates me. I don't want to annoy the Stark too much. But I may take the... Mm, uh, mm. Okay, now this is a difficult one. From a gameplay point of view, I obviously want to take the duchy. That much is straightforward. From a role-playing point of view, I don't really want to take the duchy. Hmm. It's, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. I'm not 100% sure which way I'm going to go here. I may go gameplay, okay? And now that I, I realized that earlier I was saying, we're not gonna change the rules just because it makes, we're gonna go gameplay here because we're, we're holding the max number of provinces we can hold. And this way I can give things away and we can hopefully do some more stuff. But I am gonna take the High Lordship of Winterfell. It, it, I, I'm not gonna feel good about it though. Okay. We've also got, see, we feel so bad about it, we lost our hair. It's, it's that bad. So we are now Lord Desmond of Winterfell. Eddard Stark absolutely despises us now. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as we're starting from a good point. Okay, merge up here, and we're heading north. Uh, oh, and now we get crown focus. Interesting. Well, we'll use that, and then we get also get another commander. So we'll put our commanders in as Kyle and as Kalon. We should be able to hold more provinces now, no? Wait, we can only hold the same number? That's weird. Um, worrying reports have reached you regarding your master of arms, Sir Kalon. It seems he's using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry in King's Course. Well, we're a little bit of a craven. I'm going to deal with it later. You turn a blind eye. We can still righteously imprison him. Okay, merge up. We're gonna put. Uh, All right, so we've got him in. Is nobody else eligible? Kalen's our yeah, so we're putting Bram. Uh, and Kyle is our Castellan, so he's not eligible either. Oh, nobody's eligible then. That's fine. So we'll put in. I am a black brother of the Night's Watch. Okay, well that's good. And are we gonna go? We we may go. Mm, you know what? We're not gonna go. Alright, I'm gonna send the army north. We're gonna be at the front, but we are personally we're not. Benfred Tallhart died of cancer. Okay. Unfortunate. Maester Rodwell claims that he's a better maester and petitions he should be made Maester of Winterfell instead. Oh. Um, I mean, I guess so. Sure. That's fine. Why don't you, uh, serve the court? And we'll march north here. Into the wall. Start sieging it down. Yeah, it's working. Okay, that's good. Kaelin has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Winterfell. He's seen as the right and honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants so as to foster loyalty. Hmm. We are charitable. I think we could give him a title. He is a priest, though. You don't tend to give titles to the priest. Well, we'll give him... We could give him a marriage to a fine lady. Zara Cassell, my, my sister. Are we... I don't think we're that nice. You know what? I think we'll arrange to give him the... Well, we don't have the money. That's the thing. 
I guess we are going to give him a marriage with a fine lady. He's going to marry my sister, Zara Cassell. It's come to my attention that the Justicier of the Dreadfort, Hugh, has bribed, threatened, and, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize a claim on my title. It is fabricated for his liege, Lord Weil of the Deadfort. While Bolton has decided to go ahead and use the claim of my title, despite having nothing more than laughable and obvi obviously fabricated document to back it up. The claim on the Dawn Forest. Hmm. Okay. We've taken the first one. We're being joined by uh, Lord Carl of the Trident. Oh, we can, we can uh, assault this one down. Okay, we'll wait for the rest. We can attach ourselves to this army. Ned Bull died of poor health. Okay. That's my wise stewardship, Castle Serwin. In Castle Serwin, the uh, local thieves' guild has been uh, something. Got rid of. Our, oh, our father's friend, Master Hellman, has died. Torrin Square. Torrin Square is now held by Master Hellman. They're good with their names. Uh, right, yes. Eradicated was the word I was looking for there. Oh, they're attacking. Wait, are they attacking in? It's hard to tell. Where are you going? You went to Eastwatch. Oh, they're actually heading that way. Where are you guys heading? Craster's Keep. Okay. Fair enough. We're heading back. No. No. Head, head up here. We're going north of the wall. We arrived in Craster's Keep just in time to avoid the battle. Uh, Sarah died a natural death. Lord Wild the Black has declared a war of tyranny against Lord Paramount Eddard the Warrior. My liege, Lord Paramount Eddard Stark, has tried to have Lord Wild Bolton of the Dreadfort arrested, but failed to apprehend him. Lord Wild has now raised his banners in rebellion. Oh, wow. Okay, um. The Dreadfort is now in a rebellion. With Lord Torrin of Carhold, with the Car Starks, and with the, uh. Bracken, the Risewells. That's a large um, war here. That's uh, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. So that's 9,000 versus Winterfell's 20,000. So There's about half the number of troops, but still a reasonable amount. I'm going to assault Craster's Keep. We'll take that for just now. And head further into the Night Valleys. My lord, news from Sunspear for trial by combat. Lord Timian Alaron demanded trial by combat from his captor, Princess Ariane Martel, and proved his innocence by forcing his opponent, Lord Quentin Ladybright, to yield. Okay. I'm going to assault this one down as well, now that we're here. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. And the fist of the first man. Oh. We're not going to catch him here? That's fine. I think we're going to um, siege it down. If possible. Lord Athan of Whitford has declared Whitford's war for Sir Harmon's claim on White Harbour. Oh wow. There's even more wars going on. Okay. Uh, we can assault that down now. Probably. Assault the next one as well. That is the 100% war score. The Night's Watch has been re-established. Does that mean our maester is gone? No, our maester wasn't meant. Uh, I mean our commander is gone. It does mean our commander is gone. Uh, I guess it's now going to be Caelan, even though he can't really be a commander. I'm going to march down here. Wars between the great powers have subsided for now. We're now underneath the Iron Throne. Oh, that's because the North is in a civil war and we can't join either side. We could offer to join his war, actually. Yeah. I'll offer to join your war. To the glorious Lord Desmond, peace be with you. I would gladly accept your assistance uh, in my war. Let our enemies tremble, Lord Paramount Eddard. So he doesn't like us yet, but he, he, he's, grown fond, he's grown a little bit more fond of us now we've offered to join his war. Your wife, Lady Glenn Fisher, has died. It now falls upon you to decide to make the funeral a big and special event, or keep it a small and private one. Now, given that she died from drinking too much, I think a small private funeral will probably suffice. And we'll hold off on remarrying straight away. You know, we can hold off a little bit. Oh, that was a good uh, battle. 
We're almost over here. Child likes an education. It's Danny Cassell. It's my sister. Give her a uh, give her a martial education. My lord, I am deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your loyal subjects are running dry from the upkeep of the levies you have raised from our lands. Any recompense for the cost of my liege war would be of a great comfort. Your loyal Master Malador. Well, I am charitable, so... Um... Here, here is some money. It's more than I have, but we'll go into debt for it. Go and join the Starks in High Point. We'll attach our army to theirs. Fine. Right. Hopefully that'll work. The coffers of your realm have run dry. Finances are at a new low. One of your vassals, however, surely has enough gold to loan you. <laughs> so he said, can we have some money to spread throughout the vassals? And I said, okay. And then, like, a month later said, do you have any, uh, any money I could borrow? We'll ask for a loan. My lord, I shall, of course, honor my obligations to you and provide a loan of gold as requested. The funds shall be sent to King's Course immediately. Regards, Master Malador. Oh, he's just Master Malador. Okay. Well, on that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.